So, hey guys, this is David from DKDK TV, and I am going to talk about BTS's exemption and my thoughts revolving around it. And I know this is a very sensitive topic, so um, I will try to be very careful on this issue. But, anyways, um, just to let you know, currently in Korea, the biggest news is BTS. And after Wembley and the BBC, CNN articles, um, it's literally the biggest news. It's been covered by all the national media outlets and on Naver. They're making charts of news, news, news. So, yeah, people are thinking that BTS is the national pride indeed. And in the comments, what's very funny is that Koreans have uh, become, Koreans have been engaging in fights uh, and making petitions about their military exemptions like people are agreeing people are disagreeing they're just fighting with each other and i know it's stupid um but anyways i posted i posted the status quo on my twitter right now just david 92 and so many people were actually curious about my opinion and that's why i'm recording this but well first of all i want to say this First, I shouldn't be making this video at all because it's irrelevant. Whatever new cards are set on the table, whatever options that are going to be opened or whatever, at the end, it's going to be BTS's decision and no one else has a say in that. I, may, I want to make myself clear in this point. So... I would not like to put any kind of pressure into them. I'm, I sound like I'm a famous person or I'm like influential, influential or something, but actually a lot of people do watch our channel and um, actually a lot of people do like cite me sometimes, time to time. So I'm being super careful here. And that's why I'm using my own personal channel, Just David, to keep it very small and just intimate with you guys who are actually really interested or just curious of what I think. So I would like you guys to have the mindset of like we're just chatting one on one casually at a pub or something or a coffee shop like we're friends and you just ask my opinion. So anyways, uh, I just want you guys to have that mindset um all of what i'm going to say is irrelevant because at the end it's bts's decision but anyways yeah here we go on i'll tell you two per i'll tell you two perspectives so number one what's likely going to happen and number two what i personally think and want to happen okay so to begin with number one what's likely going to happen well, I'm sorry guys, but they're probably going to go. So BTS, as we all know, as armies, what kind of people they are. They're just proud, humble Korean citizens that would not try to avoid the sacred duty as a Korean man. Now, I'm not putting any pressure on them, okay? I'm just talking what I've uh, out of what I've observed of them. They're just... Very proud, humble Korean citizens. And also, there are other angles as well. Actually, in Korea, if you finish the military successfully as a public figure, your value actually goes up even more. So people actually respect you for your service since so many celebs actually try to avoid the service. And um, also, plus, if you remember what they said before in the Hong Kong mama uh, awards they once um, mentioned that they were like so tired or burnt out that they were even they even considered disbanding in the past i think jin was the one that mentioned that and like tay cried so much but like yeah just to imagine what kind of schedule they are pulling off now like going to wembley rose bowl met life everything's just crazy it's good but it's just crazy and overwhelming. Like, I can't even imagine what their bodies would feel like. They would be breaking down, literally. But if you have, like, 
an opposite point of view. Like if you think on the opposite side, military would actually be a vacation to them. Like personally, I think it would be a less、um, hard burden. For them to pull off than the current schedule they are digesting right now. So yeah, if you think in those ways, I think they're probably going to go. And these were all like about、um, what BTS would do, like in their own perspective, right? So I want to focus again. Everything is up to BTS's decision, and we have no say on it. And we're just simulating. What BTS would think, and my first point was they're probably gonna go because yeah they're proud Korean citizens and they would have a lot to gain from military service as well. So let's go on to the other more irrelevant stuff. Well, I don't know. Like technically, it's irrelevant to me. Well, anyways, it's about the law and the people, the public's opinion. So to start about the law, the current law has no way, like no available option to actually exempt them. So the existing ex- the existing exemption for athletes and classical musicians, etc., all have specific guidelines on to win certain medals or awards from particular tournaments. Like the Olympics or the World Cup, and I know it sounds unfair because, yeah, the purpose of these exemptions from these awards are because the athletes have、uh, made Korea proud and boosted national pride, which BTS is pretty much doing more than all those athletes combined. I mean, not to degrade all the other athletes, but. Let's be honest here. You know, like they're being compared to the Beatles right now. It's like I, I don't think it's comparable. So, nevertheless, the law is the law, and for now, for now, they have no possible option. But wait for why I stress the for now part at the end. And、um, to move on to the public's opinion, I think it's very divided. Uh, mostly, the people who are disagreeing are. I think I've analyzed this, and it sums up to three groups of people. The first group would be the group of people who don't care about the idols and have finished or is expecting their own military service, and are sour that BTS might get exempt, but they would have to go to the military. I know one person around me who thinks like that, <laughs> and. The second group is the people who would think the law should be, always be equal and never bent, like people who believe in the law so much that、uh, they believe in the equal、um, equal value and like that kind of stuff. You know what I'm talking about, right? And the last group is K armies actually who don't want this conversation or topic. Even going on because the talks itself hurt BTS's public opinion. I mean, there are still a lot of people that think that way, and、um, like the the three groups of people I've mentioned above, and it will be a huge obstacle to overcome、um, this public opinion to achieve their exemption. Now, to move on to my personal thoughts. Well, to drag the public opinion and law part again,、uh, first of all, I don't think the public's opinion matters at all, like even mine, because as I said, even if BTS is given an option of exemption, it's up to them at the end, anyways, and like. Haters are gonna hate no matter what, even if they get exempted or they don't get exempted. So, like the public opinion from the start, I don't think it's very important. It doesn't really matter. But as for the everyone is equal in front of the law viewpoint, though, I think this is pretty invalid too. So first, we have the athlete 
exemption case, and everyone gets the consensus that BTS falls into the similar categories or effects of boosting national pride. And moreover, if you think the law is complete and unchangeable, people need to look up what constitutionalism is or what democracy is again. I mean, the law is not like ultimate. The law always changes. New laws are made every day. And how? From the demand of the people and from social awareness. And if the cause is valid, then the law can be amended. So, the, yeah, that's、uh, that's it about the law. And there is possibilities that the law can always change. And there's also this viewpoint of、um, it's not fair for other idol groups. Then the new law simply could make a strict standard, just like the athlete one that exists right now. For example, like.、Um, You need to get a billboard award or a Grammy award to get exempted, or、um, a special organization or committee could be made that does special evaluation on pop artists and their performances around the world, their media、um, coverages, and blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is all hypothetical and、um, it's all bullshit, but I'm sure if something like this new law is considered, like the experts. Would get it right to be to make it fair. And, anyways, I think that they truly do deserve to be exempted both for national pride and economic, you know,、um, effect.、Uh, the Korean language, it has been never it has never been spoken so much before in history around the globe. And the tourists that come to Korea right now. Are driven mostly by BTS. They line up from、uh, they line up of BT21 stores. They go on BTS tours, and yeah, everyone knows that. Even the president does, and he gave them like a, a presidential award or something in the past, you know. But yeah, anyways, at the end, it's it's just the law that is blocking their exemption, and um. As I said, if、um, public opinion starts to gather and maybe the mass majority forms a consensus that they deserve exemption, then the parliament or the president will start moving. And in the past, there was actually an attempt、uh, before by one congressman that、uh, tried to get、uh, a law regarding their exemption、um, uh, considered. But that didn't go well. Like, he got bombarded on that. But now there are even suggestions. Like, people are getting creative on making, like,、uh, making BTS an intangible cultural asset. We call it a muhyang bunaje. Like, people who are in the real traditional field that、uh, their traditional skills or assets are really, like,、um, Valuable in Korean history because they're like dying out, and people are trying to pres- the government is trying to preserve these cultural assets so they don't send them to the military. And like people are suggesting these kind of options, but yeah, exemption I don't know, it's、uh, definitely a possibility. Well, there is another option that I personally think would be best considering all these factors. Which is allowing an extra delay for their service. This would actually kind of satisfy all parties. Not saying that we have to satisfy all parties like, and make everyone happy. At the end, it's about BTS. But、uh, if you just think about this possible option, it's not too much of a change or a benefit, and it's kind of reasonable. So it could be a good option, in my opinion. And I would be happy if they are offered the choice itself, not like them being fully exempted. Like they should have the choice to deny it or to accept it. Anyways, at the end, <laughs> I'm saying this t- way too much, but all of this talk is irrelevant. Remember, it's just a friendly talk between you and me. We're in a pub, a coffee shop, 
don't even cite this or share it. And I repeat, this issue is not for us to talk about. It will be BTS's decision to make if they even get the choice, which I think they will likely not get at all because, you know, uh, Korean media is sneaky. And even if they're hyped up so much right now, like, like when the hype goes down, like there's not going to be a lot like leverage for them to pull. But anyways, yeah, that's that. And um, as for questions that are asking whether they'll all go at the same time, this is kind of a different branch, but this too, like, who knows? I don't know, like, but I think they won't, personally. Um, they are seven as a team, but uh, what I've seen is that there's still different individuals with different, with that have different dreams. And if you've seen the burn burn the stage movie you'll you'll get that like they have conflicts and they have their own ambitions individual ambitions and um so yeah maybe jin goes first and the other members left behind do dramas or the rap line does uh separate gigs or concerts like who knows but what's important is no matter what bts is bts and their status is rock solid now it's untouchable. They've already become the national pride. And I think everyone will support whatever decision they make in the future. Except the haters. Like, haters gonna hate, right? So, they're irrelevant. Just leave them out. But anyways, yeah. Everyone will support whatever decision they make. I will support that too. And, yeah, this was my short um, ramble, rant not rant, but, like, thoughts, on uh, what uh, I think about, like, BTS ex exemption. Um, and I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts. There it is. Don't make this viral because I don't want to get, like, any fire or, like, get any drama. I'm just doing this because I have no way to communicate with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm that kind of person who can't really, you know abandon my fans requests you know i'm just trying to be nice so yeah that's that uh, i hope you enjoyed my um i'm actually on the bed right now like talking to my phone like a crazy person but yeah ho hope you enjoyed this um and uh, just tell me what you think in the comments um it's quite ironic i don't want to make this big but at the same time i do want to th see what you guys think so yeah, um, thank you, and uh, stand BTS, and subscribe. Bye-bye.